Hello, 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 and welcome to another angry unit of the week. And today, we're taking a look at the Rosita AC 75mm anti tank gun. So, the Rosita 75mm was a rather interesting anti tank gun that I personally didn't know existed until its DLC came out. Essentially, by 1942, the Romanians needed something a little bit of extra punch in their anti tank department as they were using smaller anti-tank guns at the time, and the Soviet armor is just getting, well, more armored. And so they decided to combine multiple elements of multiple anti-tank guns at the time to make one ultimate anti-tank gun, I guess. That being parts of the Zis-3, the Pac-40, and the Vickers 75mm, which they were using at the time. And so became the Rosita 75mm, which entered into service in 1943, with almost 400 being put into service. They performed pretty well in terms of the fact that they could actually penetrate the Soviet armor compared to early anti-tank guns, but by 1943 and 44, it wasn't really looking good for the Axis forces in the Soviet Russia at all, so they didn't really make that much of an impact in the grand scheme of things. So funnily enough, these guns would stay in Romanian army service in a limited capacity, mind you, all the way up until the 90s. In game, the Rosita AC 75mm is a 70 point anti tank gun available exclusively to the 1st Romanian Tank Division and the 5th Romanian Cavalry Division. It has one weapon. So, the weapon loadout, surprise, surprise, is a 75mm cannon. Get of funk. Anyway, you got three sorts of ammunition. You got 40 armor penetration shells, 20 HE, and 10 smoke shells. This is a pretty interesting gun, as it's like a ZIS-3, in the sense that the HE cells and smoke can be fired indirectly, so it is, acts as an artillery gun, which is not bad. Which is also not bad as a goddamn armor um, penetration value, because by god, 160mm pen on a 75mm gun, that's not bad in the slightest. You can go through pretty heavy armor, heck, even IS-2s at closer range if they do get close. This is overall a very decent anti-tank and artillery weapon and what also makes it even better is that the AP cells shoot at 15 rounds a minute which is pretty damn fast. Up down to the miscellaneous stats is an indirect fire weapon with the HG and smoke ammunition, has six man crew, good optics, medium stealth and heavy cargo capacity. So in battle this is essentially just a more powerful forces three cannon and that's not bad in the slightest this is a pretty good gun for the price. Like I said before, the AP cells are pretty monstrous. The high fire rate, the penetration, the accuracy, that's not bad for a 70 point anti tank slash artillery gun. You can pretty much deal with the majority of armored threats are going to be coming at you. It does suck it, you don't have any APCR cells to deal with any potential IS2s, but for the majority of the time, you're going to be killing T 34 spam, and this can definitely deal with that. I mean, the high fire rate really helps out in killing a lot of medium tanks. And also considering that with a lot of the Romanian divisions, you don't really get any heavy tanks, it's really just Stugs and Panzer IVs, you would definitely be happy to take this unit along. You also have decent availability of these, 2 and A, 4 and B, 6 and C, which is pretty sad, and usually one to two cards at least in each of the divisions. As well, the high explosives and smoke shells and its indirect artillery role can be useful, they're not the best, of course, you don't have any radios, which means you won't be getting any corrected shot, but for just having a little bit of extra indirect high explosive firepower on the rim is definitely nice. I still recommend keeping the HE cells off for the most part, as with an anti-tank gun you want to try to keep it hidden to blow up tanks, and don't use this as a proper artillery gun, it's, that'd be a little bit silly. The smoke is very useful though. I mean, smoke is one of the most powerful tools in this game. You can make a lot of things happen in your favor if you know how to use smoke correctly. So having just another smoking unit on your battlefield, on your front line, to be able to just save your tank on a rim, save this gun on a rim by blocking off the anti-tank gun that's blowing you up, or infantry support gun most likely, it's useful. It's really useful. Overall, this is a really nice gun. I highly recommend taking it whenever you can, and it's... See one of the few Romanian units that's actually good on its own. And well, I'm gonna leave it off at yeah, this has been another Rangroosh unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.